Well, thanks for coming back for the build, and uh, we're moving on. So today, we're going to be working on the box to house our two-burner stove. So to do that, I just cut two pieces of plywood, 14 and a half inches in depth, and it's 19 and 3 16 inch wide. Uh, remember, the inside of our wall is 20 and 3 16 and for our drawer glides, they recommend an inch narrower. So 19 and 3 16 by 4 and a half. And I got two of those. And then we're going to take these pieces two and a half inches. We're going to attach those. We're just going to make a box, really. And then uh, the top part, we'll cut a hole in it. And that's for the two burner stove to drop down and set in there. And then we can put the top on and figure the location where we want this thing. And then on the face, once it's installed, then we'll add another piece uh, over top kind of like a drawer face, make it look nice. And uh, then we can call that good. So, let me show you what we got and what you need to do. So we're going to be creating the box and on top of this piece will be a half inch piece with the hole cut out that the uh, burner can set down and it'll rest on this lip. And then our lid will set down and it'll rest on top of the half inch plywood and it'll give it some clearance over the burners and uh, then we can get that installed so that's what we're doing and uh, let's get it done alright so we're getting closer so we we've got our uh, box somewhat assembled we have a floor and then we've got some walls going around two and a half inches high. Uh, this front piece is 19 and 3 16 wide. I think these were just a hair over a 13 and a half. <laughs> and that way our uh, stove will fit in here like so. Now what we need to do is uh, take the next piece of plywood and then we're going to have to make a template to cut out the hole so that our stove will set in there on top of the half inch. So let's get that made and uh, we'll get that assembled, cut out, then we'll be able to set our lid on top and it should rest on the half inch plywood. And uh, then we get our drawer glides on, make sure everything fits, and uh, then we'll see what our next step is. All right, now to make my template, for my cutout just to get the shape. I've got these little notches right here. I used a piece of a uh, couple pieces of cardboard. Lay that on there, tape some pieces together, figure out where my notches are, and then I take my cardboard and then I lay it on my wood and then figure out where all my holes were. And then I used a 5 h spade bit on a drill press and drilled for the uh, notches that are on the burner. So once I take a jigsaw and cut all this out, that should slip in there relatively easy. Now once we get our uh, hole cut out, our stove fits in there nice and neat. Got my uh, little marks here that are on the back side and on the sides here. And then these little tabs have a couple little ears sticking out and there's a couple of bolts right here bolt heads so I kinda had to makeshift notch these and it sits down there just fine so I think what I'm gonna do is give this a slight round over here so it's not sharp because this is a round edge it doesn't fit that tight but it'll give it move room to move around and then we'll uh, put some glue around here and we'll get this fastened on and then uh, and then I, maybe we can get it mounted in the back and get the stove in there and set the top on and see what it looks like. Alright, so I've completed the uh, box which will hold a two burner stove and uh, I think it turned out really nice. It's all sanded up. I did put a bull nose radius on the top here and uh, that helps things when you set it in place and I only have about a sixteenth maybe play around it. So that sits just like so. And then we have the top.
top part, which will set on just like so. There's two screws that uh, fasten the top down, and that's what that looks like all set in place. And we'll make it so it slides in and out, and uh, yeah. So the next step is to figure out where I want the drawer slides in the back, get them mounted on here, and test fit it, and make sure everything is uh, functioning as it should. And then I'm thinking I, I still want to put a base on the front here to cover up this and make it look nice. So that's in the works. All right, we're making some headway. Got the stove box done. Now we just got to get it mounted. All right, now we're about ready to install our box into the slides. So uh, what I've done is I installed the slides dead center of the box. So if the box was three and a half inches, then I measured down to the center line and uh, made it flush with the back and installed that on both sides. I then set the stove inside and the top, and I measured from the top down to the center line and added a half inch because I want a half inch clearance under the countertop. Then uh, I knew where the center line was for the guides here and measured down below from the center line to the bottom here. Figure what the dimension was from the top of this slide to the bottom of this slide. Hope you're following along. Then I made a couple of sticks, put it in here like so, something like so, here, like that, and rest my glide on top, put it all the way back against the wall, and fastened it down. So that gave me the height that I needed. for my box. Once the stove's in and the top, I have a half inch clearance from beneath the countertop. So at this point we're ready to set this in place, try it out, and uh, hope for the best. We'll set the stove in there, put the top in, maybe screw fasten it down, and put the knobs on it just for looks and see how it works and functions. Now granted it doesn't leave much room below, for your access to your storage, but you still have access to the storage. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, put our box in and then we'll set the stove in and we'll see what that looks like. alongside the back. Nice. Alright, now we'll set the stove inside and get an idea of what our clearance looks like. We'll pull our stove out. We're going to be really close to the countertop, so I haven't decided uh, if I'm going to shallow out the countertop, which I probably won't. We'll just call it good. And, uh, yeah, I think it's going to work. So let's get the stove in there. Now let's set the top in. Looking good.
So there is our stove setting in here. And uh, probably one of the things I didn't take in account was the height of the knobs. So I've got good clearance for the burners. I'm a good uh, half inch, but my knobs will rub the bottom of the counter when I move it in and out, which means I'm going to have to take this out and drop my slides down about a half an inch and then uh, put those back in place and then I'll have the clearance that I need to uh, open and close the stove. So, alright, no big deal. Trial and error. But, that's what it's going to look like and then I'll be uh, putting a face on the top of this uh, using mahogany and half inch thick and that would bring it out right flush with our countertop. So once the countertop's on then I can get that uh, shaped and fastened on. So it's looking pretty good so far. Alright the dirty job is done. So basically I just took my height sticks and uh, shaved off. I took off 5 eighths just uh, just to be on the safe side, I could have got away with a half inch, but it gives me a little more clearance. So I put my blocks up here, took my fasteners out, dropped everything down, and refastened it. Now we can take these blocks out, and we can set our drawer in once again, put everything back together, and see how much clearance we have. And voila! Now we've got some clearance behind or above our... Uh, burners and knobs so good deal that is installed works fine all right I like that and we still have room that we can get to our storage underneath so not a problem I'm liking that. Okay, so we got one more task completed. So we made our box, put the bottom on, put the sides on, fronts and back, made the top, cut out for our stove, dropped in the stove, mounted it on here, installed our guides, and uh, now it's working pretty good. So there we go. Next, uh, I just need to put a face across the front here sort of like on the bottom and then that section will be done and then I get to tear it all apart and do the inevitable I'm gonna to have to varnish sooner or later so I think that's gonna be what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna unfasten everything get it apart and uh, get some varnish on here so we can get the countertop on once we get the countertop on then we'll start building some cabinets here in the back and uh, making some headway. We'll get bulkhead up here and another cabinetry inside and then we'll be ready to start enclosing the, the whole thing and uh, get it set on the trailer. Ah, the trailer. Probably been wondering about that. So, maybe that'll be the next video. Stay tuned.